Cthulhu, the warrior princess of Mongolian legend, and one of the strongest women to have ever lived. Born into the tail end of the great Mongol empire founded by Genghis Khan, Cthulhu was the great-great-granddaughter of the famous ruler himself. By the time of her birth, the empire was splitting into various smaller factions ruled by different Khans, such as her father, Kaidu. Many of these Khans favoured a traditional nomadic lifestyle, in direct opposition to the most powerful Mongol ruler of the time, Kublai Khan, and civil war would dominate much of this period. Despite having 14 sons, the person Kaidu relied on most, both in battle and for counsel, was his daughter Cthulhu. Her physical strength and skill in archery, horseback riding and warfare becoming fabled as she fought by her father's side. As her legend grew, so did her list of suitors, as men from across the kingdom came to claim the hand of the princess in marriage. Her father was desperate for her to wed, but unusually for Mongolian culture, Cthulhu seemed to be free to make her own decisions on the matter, and endlessly refused approaches. Likely due to her prowess in battle and importance to the kingdom, she was given more independence than most women. While she excelled at many things, her most famous skill lied in the art of wrestling, where she was famed for being undefeated and would happily fight anyone, man or woman, who challenged her. Growing tired of the marriage proposals, she set a challenge to any future suitors. If they could defeat her in a wrestling match, she would agree to marry them. But if she won, they would have to give her 100 horses. Needless to say, she very much earned her title of the Princess of 10,000 Horses. No man was a match for her, and her herd grew as big as any in the Empire. In one fight, a particularly confident suitor that had the blessing of her parents wagered a thousand horses on his victory. Her father pleaded with her to lose intentionally, keen for her to marry this man, but she refused and ended that day thousand horses richer. Accounts differ, but the most common version is that she eventually settled down to marriage to silence the rumours of an incestuous affair with her father, this time without the need for a wrestling match. This ensured she remained undefeated throughout her entire life. Kaidu wanted to name her as the next Khan upon his death, but was persuaded against this under heavy pressure from his 14 sons who demanded that a man must rule. Cthulhu was named instead commander of the military until her death from unknown causes at the age of 46. A remarkable story of a remarkable woman that defied all the rules of Mongol life to be remembered forever as the undefeated warrior princess. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great stories. Cheers.